gestion en anglais Non, en général, c'est une gestion. Un start, un match. Et Nico. Tout le monde est looking at you, I guess. Yeah, the problem was a bit uh, that there were uh, a lot of Belgian riders in the front group, I think. Um, the Dutch guy also did a really good job, It's especially Twan uh, was riding really strong today and, and kept the pace high in the, in the big run. But um, as I predicted, there were uh, attacks from the back of the bunch and uh, I told the guys that if they were able to, that if someone attacked from the back, that they would follow because yeah, now I was in a... We were all in a in a position that were, wasn't really good for us. But if someone could uh, could follow Tone, uh, we had someone in the front group as well. But yeah, maybe they, they didn't have the legs to do so. Donc le journaliste disait que tout le monde regardait Mathieu, et Mathieu a répondu que effectivement euh, c'était un peu difficile aujourd'hui parce qu'il y avait beaucoup de Belges au départ, qu'il euh, fallait essayer de suivre aussi au pouvait, mais beaucoup de Belges c'est plus difficile. But you had the legs. Yeah, I had the legs, but uh, I, w I wasn't. Uh, I hadn't planned to close all the gaps that they were making, and uh, there were also uh, a lot of French guys and other guys from our selection who who were able, I think, to close the gap. But they were just aiming for the last round. But if if everybody's looking at each other, yeah, you can win the race. The problem is that he had the legs, but each time he had to close the gaps. Il y avait aussi euh, beaucoup de, de Français, euh, beaucoup de Néerlandais, mais si à chaque fois c'est lui qui devait boucher les trous, c'était pas possible. Donc, avant les attaques, vous avez réalisé le bon move ou quand vous avez commencé Non, c'était le plan de fermer le gap à l'équipe français, mais... He couldn't follow me, I think, and uh, when the bunch uh, came with him, uh, I think they held the pedal still, and that was the moment for me to go full and yeah, I get second per second, and uh, yeah, that was the right move. You speak with your colleagues before you made the move? Uh, no, uh, it was just everybody was looking at each other at that moment, uh, like every lap it was uh, on the road here. Uh, yeah, so I knew uh, if I can get a, a gap of. 15, 20 seconds, and uh, maybe that's enough. And uh, yeah, it was also. Donc la première question, il demandait si il savait que c'était des moments quand il a attaqué. Il a répondu qu'en fait, euh, il était allé chercher le Français qui était devant, qu'il a continué son effort et que le Français n'a pas pu suivre. Et euh, bah, après, il s'est dit que s'il arrivait à prendre 20 secondes, euh, ça pouvait terminer. Ce il a fait. You had uh, a lot of uh, good, good results uh, and improving results uh, during your uh, under 23 years. Did you expect to go uh, that high, uh, that fast? No, uh, I, I wasn't coming come here uh, to win uh, because I know there are a few stronger riders than me. Uh, but on a track like this, uh, everything is possible. And if you can get a gap like I did, uh, like I had uh, today, uh, you can win. So. C'est nice uh, que it was me uh, today. What do you agree if I say congrats to you? Do you agree if I say congrats to you? Of course I was uh, I came here for more but uh, I think when you saw the race um, we uh, came away with a good result for the Belgians. Um Tom won the race and uh, we did a good uh, um, team play, I think, in the, in the final. Um, uh, Tom was uh, very smart to uh, to attack on the right moment, so um, I think I have to be happy with the third place. Um, it was a very fast course, and uh, it was predictable that uh, it's going to be a tactical race today, and uh, that was uh, what everybody saw. But uh, um, I think Tom uh, have uh, <laughs> a nice ringtone. <laughs> I think uh, no, he, he deserves this because uh, he was uh, the one who, who took the decision to attack, and uh, it's very uh, smart win. Donc, il lui demandait s'il était content de finir troisième. Il a dit que bon, c'est pas la meilleure place, mais qu'ils ont fait une bonne course d'équipe et que bon, globalement, final, il est content. C'était une course très tactique, très rapide, et qu'il est content finalement de faire troisième. But you, what you, you made a goal, a goal of it for this championship? 
Um, yes, of course. You must have double mixed mixed feelings. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit because, of course, when you uh, um, come here to uh, to take the win, um, it's not nice to be on third spot. But uh, you always have to uh, see the circumstances and uh, the race conditions. And uh, already yesterday, when I saw the track, uh, it was clear to me that it would be a difficult race. Um, images of this race uh, later on in the season in the previous years and then uh, there was some not or uh, more uh, difficult sections and but today it was really dry and then uh, uh, it's difficult to uh, to make a, a gap but um, yeah it is what it is and uh, we go uh, further uh, to the season I already have a very nice jersey so uh, I uh, can uh, wear it, uh, that uh, the rest of the season je vous pose une petite question. Vous me connaissez pas. Mais je vous connais parce que. J'ai entendu que ce ne sont pas fini de travailler, d'accord Après, après. Non mais, juste. Non mais, juste une petite question. Allez, Jean, on y croit. On y croit aussi, t'inquiète pas Jean, le, on est d'accord avec toi. Le, le journaliste lui demandait si euh, le championnat d'Europe était un objectif pour lui. Bon, il a répondu que troisième, euh, bon, il n'était pas entièrement satisfait parce qu'il voulait gagner, mais bien évidemment que c'était un objectif. Bon, heureusement pour lui, il me reste un autre maillot distinctif à porter. Et que, vu le, la situation tactique de la course, globalement, il est content que ça passe. Bon, écoute, comme il dit, cette année, euh, désolé. Et le champion de France, bon, euh, ils ne sont pas en Europe, il dit, mais, mais par contre, l'année après, c'est toujours international, on serait le plus heureux du monde que vous venez à la Voilà. <rire> Alors, autre question. Champagne. Mais Jean, Jean, ils ont compris, on passe à la prochaine. Ouais, si, si, vous inquiétez pas. Je vous laisse. Hein. Ouais. When did you when did you realize you you had the, the you made the right move to win? When did you realize that? Uh, I knew uh, it was also yeah. There, there are a lot of corners <laughs> with. Uh, <laughs> There are some tricky corners and uh, yeah, the stairs and the barriers, so I knew uh, I have to ride technical and don't make any mistakes. But uh, the last lap, when I came over the barriers, I knew yeah, I, I should win. Uh, but uh, for the rest of before in the laps, uh, I wasn't sure of the victory. Donc la question concernait de savoir quand est-ce qu'il a su qu'il avait gagné. Il a répondu qu'il y avait quand même des parties techniques et que c'est qu'au dernier tour, quand il a passé les marches et les planches, qu'il était sûr d'avoir gagné. Parce que c'était quand même assez technique et qu'il est toujours possible de faire des erreurs. Quand vous revenez à la dernière partie, le grand groupe, il semblait comme un peu de protest ou quelque chose. Qu'est-ce qui se passe Non, ce n'était pas un protest, mais tous les riders devant étaient en train de lutter pour leur place, ce que je comprends, mais je l'ai vu immédiatement que the group was staying together no matter what and yeah, I was more relaxed to ride in the back of the group um, than in the front and I knew I had the legs if something happened to close uh, the gap to the front guy so it was just more relaxing to be in the back of the group. And there was a little moment when you were with four or five guys together but it didn't go on, why not? Was there no intention to go on to? Um, I don't know, in the beginning of... Half, 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 yeah, I, I didn't want to ride uh, on such a, a high-paced course with, with four guys in my view because it, it costs too much energy. Le journaliste lui posait initialement une question sur le fait qu'à un certain moment il s'est mis à l'arrière du groupe. Il lui demandait si ça, ça représentait une certaine façon de protester vis-à-vis -vis des autres. Il a dit que bon, non, il y avait un trou à boucher, qu'il ne pouvait pas tout faire tout seul.
et qui se sentait plus relax, plus à l'aise en étant à l'arrière du groupe. Ok, well, what if this was a world championship? Um, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I did. I would do something different. But if I close the gap to Tom with uh, three or four Belgian riders in my wheel, I take my chances to to win here or also uh, produce. So it was a choice I had to make. And um, yeah, for it's different. The World Championship. It's it's still something bigger, um, it's still a different atmosphere and uh, yeah, maybe I would have um, did more to, to get the win, but um, yeah, today I, I settled for place two. The journalist asked if he si had done differently, if it had been the champion of the world. So he said that yes, maybe he would have done differently, maybe he would have bouched all the trous to come back behind avec le risque de, de se faire battre après par les 3 ou 4 matchs qu'il aurait suivi. Après, l'atmosphère au championnat du monde est, est différente. Hein. Il aurait sans doute fait différemment, mais aujourd'hui, il est content avec la deuxième place. Question, madame. Yeah, uh, maybe it's a gift, but uh, in the beginning you have to make a gap for yourself. Uh, but I understand uh, Wout and maybe also other uh, Belgian riders did a great job today uh, for me. So I'm really thankful to them and uh, I will give him, them something back in uh, other races. Uh, but yeah, Leuven was also, uh, yeah, the people say it was uh, because of the team uh, helped me there. But when you see road races, it's always like that. So uh, maybe Mark Cavendish or so uh, always get the victory from his teammates. Yeah, you can say it also then. The journalist lui demandait s'il se rendait compte qu'il y avait eu la chance de la course d'équipe et d'avoir gagné. Dit que oui, il y a effectivement une course d'équipe qui fait que les Belges l'ont laissé devant, mais il dit qu'il fallait déjà pas réussir à partir, qu'il fallait déjà avoir les jambes pour en partir. Donc il est il remercie ses coéquipiers et il rendra la, la monnaie de la pièce lors d'une prochaine course quand euh, il y aura l'opportunité. What early in the race, Mathieu attacked three times and you follow every time in his wheel. What was your tactic to win today when you took yourself? Um, I think um, before the race my plan was to wait as long as possible because um, yeah, I thought uh, the race, uh, the course was um, yeah, too light for uh, making big gaps during the race. So my tactic was uh, waiting for the last lap and try to save uh, as much energy as possible. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, it was a good plan. But uh, we have we had also a strong team with uh, attacks of uh, Lauren Swick, uh, Timur Lier, also yeah, Ton like we saw. So um, I think uh, it was a good tactic uh, with me in the back always. Um, Defending the attacks and the other ones uh, trying to to go in the break. Um, so yeah, when uh, someone closed the gap uh, to Tone, I was still there to do a final move in the last lap. But uh, I think he deserves it. Yeah. La question portait sur la tactique qu'il avait adoptée pour la course. Uh, donc ce qu'il a répondu, c'est que sa tactique à lui, c'était plutôt d'attendre la fin, de garder des forces pour la fin de la course parce qu'il pensait que ce serait difficile de faire de, de gros écarts sur ce circuit. Bon, après, il y a un de ses coéquipiers qui était parti devant, donc euh, la tactique ne marchait plus. Bon, ouais. Is this Belgian team the best team ever, like Raven, like working and giving something to each other, or not? <laughs> Um, I think um, at least we can say it's a very new and young team. Um, um, we, I talked about with uh, Tim when we arrived at the airport. Uh, I think only Powell's is uh, one of the older guys in the selection right now. So uh, it uh, feels like uh, yeah something new and uh, uh, to compare if you see uh, with the world since older there you have still Mayerson and As and uh, the other guys. So uh, I think uh, yeah, you can say the young Belgian uh, Belgian riders are very uh, strong uh, in uh, block, and um, yeah, uh, it's good uh, that we can take a victory also with uh, a guy who don't win that much, but uh, on uh, the mo most important races he is there, like uh, we see today. Aujourd'hui, je lui demandais si l'équipe de Belgique était était la plus forte. 
Il lui a répondu que bon, c'est comme ça, mais qu'il y avait surtout une équipe très jeune, qu'il y avait beaucoup de jeunes, il n'en restait plus beaucoup d'anciens dans l'équipe, et que c'est bien de voir qu'il y a des jeunes qui se battent, qui arrivent à gagner, et que même ceux qui gagnent, moi souvent, euh, arrivent à gagner à ce niveau-là. Donc il y a une, une équipe très jeune et, et très forte, effectivement. Do you think an important step in your career? Yeah, I think uh, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen with me now. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, every... <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I'm, I will not be uh, the favorites like Wout and Mathieu, but uh, maybe I'm now one of the guys uh, behind them. So, uh, yeah, after Leuven, I won Leuven uh, last season, and uh, that was already a big step. Uh, more people knew me. Uh, since that day and today uh, it will be a more bigger step. Et le journaliste lui demandait si c'était un tournant dans sa carrière. Il dit que oui, bon, il sera peut-être pas le favori parce que il est entouré par de très bons coureurs aussi hein, qui, qui garderont sans doute le, le titre de favori mais que effectivement c'est un moment important et que voilà. Ouais. Le temps est passé, c'est bon pour vous Merci pour le contrôle à Zutter et à